In the name of Allah, the compassionate, the merciful, Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad and his progeny, and may Allah hasten the blessed advent. Hello there, brothers and sisters, and thanks for joining Insight. Today we're going to start with an important message and are going to try to bring you relevant insights, Allah willing. And here's that important message. Leader of the Islamic Revolution, Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei, has slammed the West, especially the U.S., for creating Takfiri terrorists and said that the main objective of the Islamic State, or the so-called Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, or ISIL, is to create differences among Muslim sects. In a message to the Hajj pilgrimage on Friday, the Supreme Leader said, the Takfiri groups are spreading atrocities in the West Asian region, and a bit to sow discord among Muslims. He noted that the enemy is pursuing to provide the Zionist regime with safety through igniting war among Muslims. Ayatollah Khamenei reiterated that unity among Muslims, the issue of Palestine, and making a clear-cut distinction between the notion of pure Islam of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the American style of Islam are among the most important issues facing the present Muslim world. Our beloved leader stated that, however, now that in the light of the Islamic awakening, Muslim nations have correctly found out about the animosity of the arrogant and a Zionist front and have taken stances against it, policies that aim to divide Muslims are being pursued with more fervor. He underlined that the deceitful enemy is bent, uh, bent on fanning the flames of civil wars among Muslims in order to deviate motivations for resistance and struggle among them and create a safe margin for the Zionist regime and other agents of global arrogance uh, that are true enemies. Ayatollah Khamenei added that launching takfiri terrorist groups and the like of them, uh, or the likes of them in fact, which are, are actually there are many terrorist groups around in countries located in West Asia region, is a consequence of this treacherous policy. In July, the Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei called on Muslims across the world to set aside their differences and use all their means to help the Palestinian people. The Supreme Leader invited Muslim countries' officials to set aside such motivations and opt for the establishment of a united, powerful, and capable Ummah, stressing that the Zionist impudence in a massacring people in Gaza is a result of rift in the Muslim world or in the world of Islam. Ayatollah Khamenei said secret censorship in the West does not allow Western nations to be informed of the depth of Gaza events. He said the crimes are so heinous and heart-rending that reflection of even part of it by the Western media has shocked non-Muslim nations and brought them to streets. He underlined that our clear message to Muslim governments is to rise up to assist the oppressed people and show that the world of Islam will not keep silent in the face of tyranny and injustice. To meet the goal, Muslim governments should ignore political and non-political differences and get united in a rushing um, aid to the oppressed who are in clutches of the blood-soaking Zionist wolves. Our beloved leaders said oh, actually open support of the Afghan powers, including the US and the UK, and the explicit or implicit confirmation of Zionist crimes by the international communities, including the UN, as complicity in the crimes of the blood-soaking regime. 